What's going on everybody, Varric here. Uh, it's been a couple days, maybe a week or so since I posted something. Uh, for a reason, I wanted to, I've been playing Diablo 4, uh, you know, as you can see on, on the screen. Uh, yes, I know I said I wasn't planning on getting it, but I'm a Diablo fan. I, I, I felt like I needed to at least give it a try um, and my friends were playing. So I wanted to, I wanted to at least hang out with them for a little bit. Um, you know, and I did, I did say that I, <clears throat> I didn't like the game, you know, I, and I didn't, I felt wrong judging it so harshly without actually giving it a try just based on what I had seen on streams. But I did give it a try. Uh, I ran through it for a pretty good amount of time. As you can see, I'm level 45. Um, so this is going to be kind of my unfiltered, uh, unprepared uh, reaction to the game, comments, things I like, things I dislike. Uh, and as you can see in the title, the good, the bad, the ugly. So uh, I guess we'll get into it. We'll talk about the good first. Um, I mean, you can see right here, one of the best things is it's stunning, right? It's visually beautiful. Um, this, I mean, this is like, this isn't even embellishment. This is how your character looks in the game, um, or at least in the character, in like your character screen. <clears throat> it's very clean. It's very pretty. Um, sorry for my graphic uh, nipples there. Um, but you know, it, it, the customization is, is great, <clears throat> right? Like you, you can, you can make your character look any different ways. Is that good or bad? Uh, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I, I do like being able to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm getting over something. I do like being able to customize characters, but the problem with that is it kind of takes away a lot. In my opinion, uh, the reason I like Diablo two so much is that you really, you know what someone's wearing when they're wearing it, right? For the most part, right? Like rune words, obviously no. Like, but when you wear a unique item, you know you're wearing a unique item. <clears throat> you can't transmog that off. It just is what it is. <laughs> so I, I like that part about it. It's cool to look good. It's cool to change your builds and that kind of thing. But it makes me feel like I'm more in an MMO than in an ARPG. Um, <clears throat> you know, in an MMO, MMO. You have so many items, there's so many, so much gear that it really, you know, it's it's understandable to lose a piece of gear's identity. But in a game like an ARPG, where I feel like it's so loot dependent and, and you know based on drop so much, that I want to have gear's identity. I want to have to feel like I'm proud to wear a piece of gear and I'm proud to show it off. You still can, you still can show it off. I get it. Um, but I think it just takes away a little bit when you're able to just transmog everything into everything. <clears throat> so let's get into the game, and I'll talk about some more stuff. Um, also, Q times, you know, if we're going to talk about everything, Q times has been pretty good, even like during uh, peak hours. I haven't waited too, too long, maybe like 10 minutes at most, but that's like during real bad peak hours. But um, <clears throat> again, I'm pretty much just going to be a talking head. I'll, I'll walk around a little bit. Um, I'll, I'll kill some stuff as I'm playing. Um, customizability is nice. You know, you can you can change this up a little bit. You can change up where your binds go. You can't really change, you know, where all this stuff sits. <clears throat> so it sort of does have to sit there on your screen. Um, but it's not a big deal. It's it's you know you pretty you're pretty free everywhere else. You know this is not too bad. Um, but okay, uh, we'll we'll talk about combat. Combat super clean, super nice. You know, it feels good. The dodge, I didn't think I would like that much just because it feels like a little too overpowered to be able to just dodge everywhere, but it's necessary because there's so many things on the ground that you have to avoid. Now, is that good? Is that bad? I leave it up to you. Personally, I'm kind of tired of having to dodge out of something every single time. There's just so much ground effects. There's so many things you have to dodge out of. Um, the campaign itself was super nice. Uh, I will I will say that. <clears throat> The story, kind of cool, I guess, is fine. Um, I'm not someone who gets like super into stories, so I wasn't too worried about it. Um, I guess there's an event up here. We'll do the event as I'm talking. Um, <clears throat> so I, I didn't really worry too much about that, but I, I tried to follow along as best I could, and it was pretty cool. So um, story is cool. Campaign got a little stale at times, you know, a little lengthy. It's right at six acts. Um, and the one downside I'll say about that is you never really feel like uh, you never really feel like you know where you are in the act, right? Like I thought I was in Act Three at one point. My friends were like checking in on me, seeing how I was doing, and I look at my quest log, and I'm like halfway through Act Four, right? Like 
there's no like m clear delineation i felt like of like when you progress through the acts whereas like in a game like diablo 2 you know exactly when you're going to the next act right and that's just easier um and i think it helps you stay more immersed into the game like when you know exactly like how your progression is going whereas this is just open world you just go through this open world go through the acts or go through all the quests i never felt like i knew exactly where i was um Again, good or bad, I don't know. I think bad. Uh, I'd, I'd prefer to like have more clear delineation. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, and, and again, this is going to kind of be all over the board. I'm just going to talk about stuff as they come to my mind. Um, one, one thing I did not like was the uh, scaling. So in Diablo 2, you have clear power spikes, right? Like the assumption is when you get to a new act, you're going to be weaker right you're not going to be able to do very well it's going to take a little while but as you gain levels as you gain new skills as you get your like ultimate abilities blah 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 you're you're you would expect to have good progression of, of power right um and that doesn't seem to happen here right specifically because everything scales to your level right <laughs> like if i look at dungeons they all say level 45 level 45 level 45 doesn't matter where i am on the map they're all going to be level 45 because they're scaling to my level. I don't necessarily like that, right? I'm level 45. I don't, I don't necessarily like that. I would have rather have places where I can go that I'm stronger than, that I'm weaker than, um, so you can have a difference of the game. If everything just scales to your level all the time, it kind of gets a little stale. It gets a little boring. <clears throat> And in that same regard, that's, you know, level spikes, that kind of power spike, but at the same time, gear, right? Like, when you got a new piece of gear and you got a big old upgrade, you want to feel good about it. You want to feel like it's 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 influential. It's making you super strong, right? Like in Diablo 2, when you wear that spirit rune word or you gain that uh, new item, that big that big item you you have, and you put it on, you start swinging away with it. You feel really good and you feel really strong. When I get a new piece of gear, nothing ever changed. I never felt like I was stronger, weaker. Uh, so that that just took away from it for me you know i was just this same guy running around the world you know using builders using spenders um and just going about that way now this could also be hey not right now uh sorry dogs barking this could also be just based on my class like i haven't played enough classes played enough builds to know more about it but um it's very de cooldown dependent Right, like I have an ability called Call of the Ancients, and summons three different ancients. Right, Korlek, you know the guys from uh, Ansa, the uh, the guys from uh, Area Summit summons those three guys, and they do a ton of damage. And you're just this whirlwind of, of doom and might, and you kill everything. But then when they're not up, you feel weak. You don't feel like you're doing a whole lot of damage. Right now, again, I know it's probably gear dependent, and I'll get better and stronger as I do this and that. But still, I'm not a huge fan of like cooldown dependent classes i'm not a huge fan of like builders and spenders i like the i, I like the diablo 2 where you're just you're just doing consistent damage you have your abilities and you just strengthen them that way with your gear with levels um and you're not having to worry about these like powers these uh these like cooldown dependencies and stuff like that not for me sometimes it is for other people but anyway that that was my opinion on it um gear as well so i can i can go into so much detail about gear and how i don't like it um <clears throat> i don't like legend i don't like legendary uh, you know it's 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 just an item it's a rare item with a with a effect on it right so it, it doesn't and you can even break these down and put it on another piece and you know it, it doesn't i don't know i don't know how to explain it but it, it takes away from me when when something big drops uh, cause like you, you see this on the ground and you're like, oh my God, there's lights on and everything. It's cool. And then it's just like, okay, it's an item with some random, random rolls that are probably shitty and they might be good. And then they have a cool effect that the effect is maybe shitty, maybe good. Um, just takes away from it. Right. I have had one unique drop, right. I've had that unique drop that felt good. That was cool. I don't know if those are set skills or not. They, they might also be random. I don't know. Um, again, when everything is so random, it, it takes away from the identity of the item. And I, I'm going to say that word identity a lot because I, 
I feel like an ARPG is so is so item dependent that you want the item to feel good. You want to feel like you have this this item that has an identity that that, that feels good to wear, feels good to wield, and um, you know everyone knows what you're wearing and it's cool and you feel proud of it, but. You just don't really have that here. Like you expect someone and you're like, oh, cool. Like you, you have all this stuff that dropped for you. I don't, you know, I've never seen that before and you don't really know much about it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that's another, that's one gripe. Uh, you know, another thing is you can enchant your items with like different things. Like if I don't like dexterity on this, I can change it and see what else I get. Um, that's good and bad. Customization is always cool, but like when you have so much ability to customize an, un, an unlimited amount of time, it just takes away from it for me. Um, and again, you may be you may be saying all this, hearing all this stuff, and being like, "That sounds awesome! Like, great! That's the game for you. Then go for it." Uh, for me, it's just it's just not not what I like. Um, I don't like that there's only two. I don't like that they're all the same size. You know, I think that you know they're only able to ever get two two slots. So like rune words aren't a thing, and gems you just put you put gems in your gear and that's it. You know, you don't really use gems for anything else, so that's kind of boring. So like, you know, in the future when I'm fully geared and I I gemmed everything, then what the hell do I need these gems for? I'm just gonna throw them on the ground and it's just gonna be, you know, fodder for me to even have to worry about picking up. You know, there's gonna be no point in it. Maybe they do something more with it in the future, but I don't really think so. I don't think they have any plans, but who knows? Um, that's that's items. I, I think I've kind of gone through everything with items. Um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say about that. Endgame. <clears throat> For endgame, like, and I'm not really there with endgame. I understand that. So don't come telling me, like, oh, you're not. Keep going. You're, you have so much more shit to do. I get it. Like I understand it. I, I read about it. Um, essentially, you finish the campaign. It takes you to like 30, 40, depending on what you did, how much you did. Uh, and then once you're in game, you do you do the Tree of Whispers stuff. Um, I don't even know where the freaking Tree of Whispers is. Where are you? It's over there. Um, you do your Tree of Whispers, and then you go do some stuff. Uh, they give you like bounties. Um, but then once that's all done. I don't know. There's not a whole lot else to do. You, you run dungeons. Um, you do events on the map. Uh, it's almost like there's too much to do, which makes it feel like you don't want to do anything. Um, maybe nitpicky. Uh, again, uh, I'm, I'm taking a game where I don't know anything about and trying to convince myself to play it more than a game than I know very much about and I like very much. Oh, look at that, Altar of Lilith. I didn't realize I was there. That's another thing. These these Altars of Lilith gave you give you like permanent bust, buffs to your character. Um, you're supposed to like go look around for them and, and try to find them. My motivation is just not there, right? It, it, <clears throat> I don't find myself wanting to do these things, um, even though I know I'm supposed to. Um, a lot of it was a struggle to try to like continue to play and continue to like, you know, encourage myself to play. Um, so as, as visually stunning as this is, and as, as the gameplay feels pretty good, um, there is still a lot that could be improved upon, and maybe they do. Um, the other thing, while while I'm thinking about it, is the map control, right? Like the the overhead. It feels too close, right? Like, I want to scroll out more. In fact, when you see when you see the mount, you actually scroll out to a good level. I love this. Like, I would much rather play this way. And there's some boss events that you do play this way, and it feels better. Like, you can see more. Um, but but this is not the norm, right? <clears throat> so I'm not not a huge fan of that. Um, and at the same time, on that same note, they basically made every build a melee build. Like in some way, shape, or form, all the builds are supposed to like kind of get in there and do melee stuff and you know do close range stuff, but not everyone likes to play that way. Some people like to sit back and turret and shoot, and, and you don't really have that ability to do that in this game. Um, so hopefully they change that. Hopefully they they make some builds that are more range based, um, and you know you can zoom out, and hopefully they change the camera distance. Uh, but right now it's 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 a little uh, discouraging. Um, 
so that's that. You know, I talked about questing. I talked about campaign. Again, the campaign is pretty. It's nice. Um, actually, one thing I'll talk about the campaign as well. Um, <clears throat> the uh, there's so many cutscenes and there's so many cinematics that it sort of takes away from how beautiful they are. You know, you're you're constantly throughout the game. A lot of times, you're you're cinematic after cinematic after cinematic. And eventually you're just like, I just want to play the game. Like, I, I just want to skip through all this crap because I'm tired of sitting here not playing the game. Um, so I think if they if they reduce the cinematics, um, that would be way better for it. And it would, you know, make the, make the ones that are there, like, with the, all the better. Um, and, and, and the other weird thing was, like, some cinematics were skippable or, like, like you could advance through them. And, like, some of the speech, uh, like, non-cinematics, but, like, talking lines... Uh, were advanceable, but some weren't, and it was super random, uh, which were and which weren't, and sometimes you just had to like just either sit there and wait or, or just skip the whole thing entirely. Um, so that was kind of annoying. I, I would rather that be consistent, um, but it wasn't. But that was it for campaign. You know, I talked about that. I talked about weapons. I talked plenty about identity of weapons. Um, no rune words is a bummer. I think runes do exist. I haven't seen any drop yet. That might be an end game thing. But I think as of right now, like rune, rune words aren't a thing. Like, I mean, how can you make rune words out of a max of two freaking slots? That's kind of a bummer. I mean, I think that was one of the greatest things Diablo has ever done was institute rune words. And they didn't have it in three and people missed it and liked it and wanted it back. And then they didn't put it in four. So uh, that's a bummer. Um... What else? <clears throat> I, I I guess I understand the idea of the like real world look. Um, I do like having Axe. I do like having the central town in Axe. Um, in Axe, A-C-T-S. Um, like in Diablo 2 where like you had Logolian, you had Rogue Encampment that you could kind of base out of. That gets lost in the sauce here, right? There's so much going on there's such a large world like i couldn't tell you what each area was for each act because i just don't know right like sure there's a couple you know a couple titles here that i can see saragar and kiyosha hey scout not right now bud um but you don't really know there's the, you don't really know where you are you don't really know what's supposed to be what um again is that good is that bad I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think it it creates it creates a, a big world um, that, but it's it loses a lot of organization that way. So I don't know. Well, I think uh, I think that basically it um, mounts you could talk about. They're pretty cool. I, I thought I hate mounts more than I more than I do. Um, it's a nice way to travel. It's a nice way to get around. Um, you don't you really use them for anything more than just running fast from point A to point B. Um, I don't hate them. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, but that's it on mounts. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done with my feedback. Am I going to keep playing this game? Probably not. Like, like I said, many times I'm sort of just forcing myself to play because I don't really care enough. Um, I'll probably start to putter out. Definitely once the next season of PD2 comes around, I'll be playing that. Let me know what you guys think of what I said. Uh, again, feel free to disagree with me. Feel free to not give a shit what I said and think I'm dumb and think I, my point doesn't matter. That's your prerogative. That's your opinion. I, I get it. Um, no one, Not everyone's going to agree with me. Uh, but yeah, there's my, there's my feedback on Diablo 4. Um, am I going to keep playing it? Probably not, but... It's definitely cool. It's definitely a cool game. It's definitely pretty, uh, but it has some some serious room for improvement. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed. Take care.